Any text or references you make should be cited appropriately in the bibliography. Companies projects must adapt to the general data protection regulations. The free trades are mutually beneficial for two partners. The health center is situated at the corner of the university behind the library. Ideally, free trade is beneficial for trading with two partners. The cafeteria closes soon, but the snack machine is accessible throughout the night. The puppets do comedy routines, and there is some terrific formation dancing. The technician left the new microscope in the biology lab. We're constantly looking for ways to bring industry and agriculture closer together. Only those who are over 18 years of age are eligible to open a bank account in our bank.
With over 40 years unrivaled experience and a worldwide reputation, BSI leads the way in testing and certification of fire safety products. Based on our dedicated labs in Hemel Hempstead, our team provides BSI kite mark and C testing and certification for a broad range of products, including fire extinguishers, hoses, alarm panels, and heat and smoke detectors. We help clients to gain access into the European market by ensuring that products meet all the CE mark requirements. And we are familiar with the market access regulations of most countries across the world, enabling customers to enter markets globally. The BSI Kite Market is categorized as a British super brand and acknowledged the world over as a symbol of trust, integrity, and quality. It provides the reassurance that vital product safety and performance requirements have been met. Our team subject each product to a rigorous set of tests along with robust production control audits designed specifically to ensure that they perform to required standards of safety and quality. We test for compatibility of fire detection and fire alarm system components to ensure that they're compatible and connectable. This service meets the growing requirement of European regulatory authorities to meet national installation guidelines. We also perform tests on individual detection components. Fire suppression products such as fire extinguishers are subjected to rigorous tests designed to ensure that they're effective, safe and capable of performing in environments and conditions in which they're stored and used. The symbols for BSI KiteMark and C certification represent quality, safety and trust. Our civilization, which subsumes most of its predecessors, is a great ship steaming at speed into the future. It travels faster, further, and more laden than any before. We may not be able to foresee every reef and hazard, but by reading her compass bearing and headway, by understanding her design, her safety record, and the abilities of her crew, we can, I think, plot a wise course between the narrows and bergs looming ahead. And I believe we must do this without delay, because there are too many shipwrecks behind us. The vessel we are now aboard is not merely the biggest of all time, it is also the only one left. The future of everything we have accomplished since our intelligence evolved will depend on the wisdom of our actions over the next few years. Like all creatures, humans have made their way in the world so far by trial and error, unlike other creatures, we have a presence so colossal that error is a luxury we can no longer afford. The world has grown too small to forgive us any big mistakes. I think with our linguistic training we also get all this invisible training to be authorities, to be the people who know. It is part of that process that you come out as a world authority on your chosen subject. But when we move into working with communities, we have to recognize that the communities have to be the authority in their language. Actually, a woman in the class I'm teaching at Sydney at the moment, a career woman, expressed this very nicely, although she was talking about something else, she was distinguishing expertise from authority. And certainly linguists, because of our training we do, have expertise in certain very narrow areas of language, but we don't have the authority over what to do with that knowledge or what to do with other knowledge that the community produces.
I guess for me the bottom line is languages are lost because of the dominance of one people over another. That's not rocket science, it's not hard to work that out. But then what that means is if in working with language revival we continue to hold the authority, we actually haven't done anything towards undoing how languages are lost in the first place, so in a sense the languages are still lost if the authority is still lost. How do you call the doctor who treats sick animals? When a person's blood alcohol content is higher than the standard range, what activity are they not allowed to do? In solar system, which planet produce sunshine? What do we call the legal document that states how people's property should be allocated after their deaths? How often does February have one extra day? What do we call stop, comma or ellipsis? What do you call the female partner in a marriage? What do we call the extra performance that actors give? What do you call the strap that circles a person in a car or an airplane? What do you call the government where the power is concentrated in the hands of one person? 